Hey everyone, it's Zadira and Steffi, Hi, and we are going to go on an adventure that I think is going to be very informative for everyone who, especially if you've never been on Sparkleheim. Yeah. We are playing on the Sparkle... <laughs> oh dear. Take your marbles out. Yeah. <laughs> We're playing on Nikadis' new map, and the, he, there are special ores you get when you harvest the ore, and it's gold. And let's go ahead and get on our ride, Steffi. We have these amazing wolves that Colt tamed for us. Oh my gosh, he is a taming whisperer. And uh, we're going to go for a little bit of an adventure down in here. I want to show first, this is what the ore looks like. We have a little patch down here. I came down and got a few of these, but we have several nodes right below by our teleporter off of, we're on this floating island right here. That's our base. Let me show you on the map where we are. Right here, this is where our base it, it teleporter is, and this is where some gold is that you can get. And I'm gonna show you, you use your pick, and it looks like this. There are no metal nodes like we normally see. But this is where you get your metal. See, I got 36 metal. And then you get stone and you get pure gold ore. I'm going to go ahead and toss out the metal for now and the stone. So we have pure gold ore. We're going to take that with us and we're going to show you what you do with it. We also have these energy crystals that you get from defeating the dwarven NPCs. They're dwarven warriors and you get the energy crystals, you get the mithril ore, you get obsidian flux, and you get diamonds from the dwarven warriors and the berserk animals. Yes, the berserker animals is where we got ours. Mm -hmm. So, and you need these energy crystals to power the dwarven forges. The dwarven forges are the only place you can get the gold uh, metal, the gold ingots pure gold ingots. So if you burn the gold ore in a normal forge, you're going to get just metal ingots, plain metal ingots. But if you take them to the dwarven forge, oh, okay, we can't go down here. Here we go. If you take them to the dwarven forge, we'll show you that. Oh, wait, we're going to go to the one below us. There is, there is a dwarven forge right below us here. Some where? We'll find it in a minute, and I'll show you on the map. Okay, so we went over, just a little bit over, and you go down this path, and it's right here. I think this would be such a fun place to have a base if, if you wanted to. Oh, I hear. Ah, let's get this alligator, Steffi. Oh, is somebody over here? What is this thing? Oh, let me turn on my... There we go. Ooh. Ooh I bet that Sarko was yep. having a snack. Yeah. So anyway, here we are. Let's show on the map right here. We're not too far from our teleporter right there. Um, let's, don't, let's take off the Equus. So the if you want the actual cords, it's 6818, this is a small little village, Dwarven Village. And you can see this awesome statue. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Our, our teleporter is right up above here, right above here. And you can go up here and, let's see, better ride my wolf up to safety. I don't want him down here getting attacked. You never attacked. know what could be in there. Mm -hmm. But there's all these little buildings here. And then you, you go up here in this path. And going up and see somebody could actually build and, and have a little village. You could have all of this completely for your base. We just ask on our server that you don't block the Dwarven Forge. So this is one location. Here's some more of these little buildings. That's a pretty big one. We, and uh, But if you, if you want to, you know, like wall this off right here, you're going to get creatures falling down from there probably, but it wouldn't be too bad if you had some good guard dogs or something. 
but you could wall it off. But just on our server, you need to lock, unlock the gate. You need to be sure that people can access these dwarven forges. So this is what it looks like. And so what you do is you, you can put one of these energy crystals in and see, it immediately Ooh, lit. Fancy. Yeah. Let's look and see. Isn't that cool? And it lasts a long time. I don't know how long it lasts, but it does last a long time. So you put your pure gold ingots in and they will instantly start crafting those. And then we also have this mithril ore. So what you see, all of these say mithril ingots. I'm not sure why there's so many in here. But to make a mithril alloy, you need the mithril ingot and obsidian flux. So we have obsidian flux. And you need only one mithril ore. So it should make a mithril ingot. But um, maybe take the gold out. Yeah, maybe after it cooks the gold, it doesn't do it at the same time. Let's see. It takes one mithril ore. We there have it mithril ore. Oh, there it goes. You yeah. have to actually right click on it and hit craft. Oh, so the gold. The, well, that's good to know, Steffi. Yeah. <laughs> the gold automatically crafts, but if you have to do the mithril, you have to craft it. It's pretty slow, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if you have crafting speed in your um, inventory, if you use points for crafting speed, it might go a little faster. Maybe. I don't know if that it might be. It just might be the time limit of the forge. Yeah. But anyway, it's done now. And it, um, now, because we had the mithril ingot, we should... Oh, you need five ingots. So we won't mess around. We yeah. won't wait. You need five of the mithril ingots and one obsidian flux. And that will make... Um, that will make the mithril alloy. So yes. there you go. That's how these forges work. And that's the only way you can get the gold, pure gold ingots. And we don't know what you can use the pure gold ingots for yet. Not I'm yet. Thinking the map is not complete, even though it pretty much is. Um I don't know what Nicatus has in mind, but we'll show you why you need to craft those things here. Let's go show that. We're going to go over to the obelisk, the blue obelisk. So we'll show you that when we get there. Okay, so we're about to get to the obelisk. It's so amazing. The obelisks are so cool on this map. Let's see. If we follow this path, we aren't very far away from where we were at all. Oh, here's some May Wings. A 110 Ooh. and a 290. <gasps> Look at that one. Okay, we're we're not I gonna get distracted. I really want an S. Yeah, I want the I want an S variant. Variant. Okay, yes. so here's the obelisk. You'll see these giant statues. Aren't these awesome? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's just this beautiful, really beautiful building. And you go over here, and uh, this is the obelisk. You open it up, and this is where you'll see all the boss battles. So to do the Gamma Broodmother, you have to do a gem of the Broodmother. We've never had that before. That's new. So in order to do the gem of the Broodmother, oh my gosh, is that? <laughs> that stick goes up on the thing with us. Oh my gosh. So what you do is you have to do the gem of the Broodmother first. And it's the Artifact of the Clever, Artifact of the Hunter, Artifact of the Massive, and then, there you go. You need an energy crystal and a mithril. You need 10 mithril alloys and 5 energy crystals. So that's why you need to be constantly uh, defeating those dwarven warriors. And mm -hmm. you need to be constantly killing the berserk animals. And yes. we're, we're not sure about the alphas if they drop things too. We need to pay attention to that when we kill an alpha. I don't think they do. But anyway, so you have, this is the ones for the dragon. This one is for the gorilla. So you have all three needing uh, the different amounts of energy crystals and mithril alloy to make these cubes. And then when you click on the broodmother gamma, so you need to use that cube in order to open that, uh, that uh, portal. So each one you're going to need your cube for, to open those portals. And, and see, like the dragon... It's the, it's the cube and all these other things. You don't just use the cube. 
So right. anyway, gosh, that's it's a lot of work, huh? Definitely. It is a lot of work, but it'll be so worth it. It's so much fun, too. Oh, my gosh. I just love yeah. all the way this map is made. I love having a different way to do it because we've done it the same for so, so long, long on every other map. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have a little bit of a variant. Exactly. Yes. So we have one more destination I want to show you, and it's a little bit complicated to get over there. I know, kind of. Let's see. Here we are on this, the map for this, the location for this artifact, I mean this obelisk, is 7784 5300. So where we're going to go next is way over to the west. And I want, well no, it's only about a little bit over to the west. But I, I don't remember exactly where it is, so I'm going to wait till I get over there. I don't want you to have to follow me around in circles on all the paths <laughs> till we find it. kind of know where to go, but... Um, We'll be back when we get there, and I'll, sh I'll be sure to show you the location. Okay, so we just went kind of a little bit west, southwest, west, and you come up to this bridge, and there's this really beautiful building, and you see these this waterfall. Oh, there's a spino down there, and these statues here. And we wanted to show you this. This is a huge, huge homage to Lord of the Rings. It's just so awesome, and it's a it's ginormous um, dwarven. What would you call it, Steffi? It's I think it in so I think it would have been a dwarven city would have mm -hmm. been inside of here. Yeah, I think so. It could be, and somebody could have their base in here easily. More of the ruins that you can build in. <laughs> It's just so fun. Just so you keep your gate, if you have to have a gate, keep it unlocked and make sure that people can access the Dwarven Forge. This is the main hub where there's a, this was the first Dwarven Forge that I found. And we have a Dwarven Forge here. So same thing, but you also have these amazing things, these crates. And you can hit these with your hatchet. And I got 12 metal ingots and 12 polymer. Uh, wow. Uh, cooked meat, spoiled meat. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get too heavy. My poor little. Um, I might let you hit those because I am getting heavy. I got wood and scrap metal. Oh, thank you. And uh, the, I'm not sure if there are any others around. I, I was thinking there was, but there might not be any other crates. But you can also find these at the Dwarven Castles. And, uh, yes, they... but be careful because yeah. there yeah. are NPCs in there and they have axes and they have um, bows and they do a lot of damage. Yes. Okay, so on our server, we had an admin come over and place this down. Hmm, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Let's see, it says the owner is admin and she is part of the RPE mod. And she sells chibis. Yeah. So on our server, we wanted to have a use for our gold ingots. So Steffi, you know what? I didn't. Oh yeah, I did have tons of gold. Uh, I made how many did I make? Nineteen. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't think. No. So <laughs> so the cheapest ones oh, are a hundred. Yeah, you can see she has almost, I'm not sure about having all of them, but almost all of the chibis from yeah. all of the different events, plus just normal arc chibis. And so the top ones are the common, and then you have uncommon, you have rare, and you have legendary, I think. Yes. So I love um, this little spring shine horn. So if I wanted to buy this little spring shine horn, oh, it says purchase item for 250 gold ingots. It yeah. Said, and then when I clicked on it, it said I don't have enough. So what I have to do is go make sure I get enough. Just that little short time that you watched us do this a while ago, we got 19. So this is yeah. not going to be a problem. It's not going to be hard. I wonder if the admin needs to up the the, uh, the Ooh, cost. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. So, these pink ones, these are the, like, super rare? I don't remember what they're called. They're, like, the most rare. Legendary, yeah. maybe. Mostly they cost 300 Yeah. Um, the one I want is the Chibi Bunny. Oh, where is it? Where and it's 200 gold. Where is that? So, it's pretty close to the top. It's on the fourth line down. Oh, it's in the... Second to the last. A, is it green? No, it's pink. 
go pink. And it's it looks like a buddy shadow. Silhouette. Oh, right there. That's the one I want. And so with these chibis, so you have to save up 200 gold ingots. Yes. Yeah. So with these chibis, you can have them on your in your hand slot, offhand slot. And when you kill the alphas, I wonder if it works for the berserk animals. I have a feeling it does. Yeah. That's I something would, we should ask. Yeah, I don't know. But um, anyway, you do get yeah. experience for killing things with these oh, chibis yeah. out. Yes, yes, and yes. And then you get extra levels. You get yeah. five extra levels for every chibi that you, uh, what do you call that? Go go to completely level it Once up. Once you level up your chibi, mm -hmm. it will give you five levels. So yeah. it's pretty cool. And if you want to just be totally, if you, do, if you don't want to know which TV you're getting, they actually have a random TV. Mm -hmm. um, down at the very bottom, it's, it's got a little question mark. And you can just get a random one and see what you get. Oh, I see. There's a question yeah. mark up here right in the middle. Yeah, it's that's pink. only 100 gold ingots. So mm -hmm. if you, wanna, so you, if you can, don't want to know. You can have a chance. So there are a lot more green than anything else. But yeah. still, if you like to take chances, so it's a kind of a fun thing. Yeah. I wonder why this blue one is up here by itself. It's like, that's weird. It's a ghost mantis. Ooh, it's up here by itself. It's on the Halloween. That's it, interesting. I wonder why it's not down here in the blue ones. I question. also want the dire bear. I love yeah. that dire bear the dire chibi. Dire bears are super cute. So how much is it? Oh, there's three. Oh, there's this dire bear and oh no, that's a dire wolf. Oh yeah, there's only one dire bear. He's only green, so I only need a hundred ingots. And he, oh, I love him so much. I had one on server one time called him Chubby because he was such a chubby yeah, little he thing. Was so cute. <laughs> so what we have, we named our chibi seller. So uh, the RPE mod has different vendors and sellers and things. This is the one we're using, and we named her Valerian as a homage to Free Realms. Yeah. The Those of you who have known us a while know we played Free Realms, and the main character of Free Realms was Queen Valerian. Yeah. So this he thought is, that was a perfect name. Yeah. So she is here for people to use and enjoy, and it gives you uh, something to spend your gold uh Pure gold ingots on. Yeah. And over there are several. Are there several forges in here? Or just no, there's one? just one. Oh, okay. There is. Let's go ahead and kind of. I couldn't remember. Let's kind of ride around just to show. Down here is this. Oh my gosh. Insta death lava. Don't fall in there. Yes. Colt what confirmed that it is insta death <laughs> and that your uh, Fjord Hawk will bring your stuff back though. Yeah. So, oh, I don't think I showed the, did I, I don't think I showed the cords. Oh, yeah. When I, this is the exit, or it's another entrance. Let me show it on this side. And it, more buildings. This would be a really cool place for a base right here. But just make sure you keep everything accessible to everybody. So your cords here are 72, 35, 35, 47. And you go through a mountain. See that mountain, my arrow. The the other direction is we were just west of where we were and kind of southwest. So you can go through the whole entire mountain and get to the other side. So let's go back and I'll go up that ramp and show that. It's just it's, such a cool It is so amazing. Building. Yeah. The the details that Nicatus puts yeah. On his maps. It's just so cool. He is amazing, I tell you. I keep saying that. I really do mean it. So here's another little building, but I don't see any boxes up here. He may have taken them off. I think they were here when we did the little test. He allowed people to come in and test early on. And then here's where the forge is and Valerian. And you have buildings over there. See, we went up on that ramp to that building. And then there's buildings over there and buildings up there. How do you get up there, Steffi? Or I guess you have to grapple. Oh, yeah, look up there. I guess you can grapple up there. I'm oh, I'm curious. I have my grapple. I'm curious if there are boxes up there, maybe. Ooh. 
I wonder, let's see if my grapple can take me up there. We're using LR reusable. Oh, it's not a platform. I thought it was a platform. It's not. Okay. I thought there was like a big platform over here. Isn't this oh. cool how he did this? I mean, look at this. <laughs> wow. So amazing. Yeah. Makes me wonder, though, if there's stuff. You know, it almost looks like there is stuff on top of this. Oh, it's that thing sticking out. No, I don't see anything. Okay, no worries. Nothing here. Nothing to see. <laughs> so we'll go out, back out, like out here. And it's the same, pretty much the same. But I want to show you the cords. So you can go up the, see those little houses, and then you can go up over here. This ramp takes you up here. But wouldn't this be a neat place for a base? And safe? Oh my gosh, you'd be so safe. And then you have that, those, those beautiful lamps, those fire lamps. Oh. Yeah. Truly, every detail was thought of. This flooring. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, go back out. This is where we came in. What was that running? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a day of dawn. No, one of the, uh. Oh, a hyena dawn. Hyena dawn, yeah. Okay, so the cords here are 82, 90, 34, 19. So this is the entrance this way. And and you can see it when you see this big pavilion building. And oh my gosh, look down here, Steffi. There's this beautiful red tree. Wouldn't this be something to have close this yeah. in and have your base oh my gosh, here? Yes. And there's an island down there I with that beautiful red glass. tree. This is dangerous though. There there are there's a lot of danger right here. But you could still, you could fix it so it wouldn't, you could glass it in yeah, with that's glass and make it say. invisible. Yeah. So, it would so be pretty. just gorgeous. Yeah. So, lots of building spots. People have started asking, where are some good building spots? And I, you know what? It's just too impossible to say. I mean, that little plateau over there could be fenced in. That looks like those plateaus would be good to build in above that waterfall. Just, oh man, it's so beautiful. But with, with our S plus glass, you can build a wall and you can't even tell that there's a, let me show, I'm showing on the map. Yeah, right there. That's where we are in that lake. And so you can't even tell that there, there's a wall with our S plus glass. You can make all of the metal invisible. And so you could glass this in and you wouldn't even be able to tell you have walls. It'd be just gorgeous. Okay, I think we're going to end this little video right here, everyone. We do appreciate you so very much yeah. for watching our videos. We're getting so many comments and so, so many people fun. joining the server. All the information is down below if you're interested. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? We're so we're having so much fun with Sparrow Time. We keep forgetting to say things. So <laughs> please forgive yeah. us and let us know if we've missed something. Let us know so we can... Uh, be sure and go, go circle back on that. But we do appreciate everything that, that y'all are supporting us with. Yeah. Be sure and like and subscribe and press that notification bell. Not only does it help us, but it will tell you whenever we put out a video. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll help Nikatus. Yeah. He loves get hearing from people on what they think about his map. Definitely. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. See you later.